So in this video, what I want to do is talk about how your community know they can trust you. All right. So we have something we call escrow accounts. So we make sure that our tokens that we basically help all the communities create. Right. You guys have your own token. We have our token. Right. When you have your token, we want to make sure that you do not dump on your community. We also want to make sure that your community know that you can never dump on them as well. When it comes to the crypto space, this space needs something that is completely missing it's just in the world period, but mainly in the crypto space that is trust. We have a system where your community know they can trust you, where you guys will not be able to dump on them. They will have peace and ease at the mind when they know that the community they are in, the person that is running the community cannot just pull the rug and run off. So that's what we have created a system for. We got a system where you guys are able to even check us and make sure that we aren't doing foolish. I'm going to show you on a safe system that we use that if any transaction will happen, you will have to approve it first before it happens. Because number one, tokens that we are making sure that you don't dump is yours. So you still own them, but we're just making sure that you just don't be predatorial to your community. But you can also see if we try to do anything predatorial to you. So let's just say that somebody wants to do funding that you have to give approval for, or if you want to take money from the bank that we hold for you, you have to be approved. You have to approve the transaction. So nothing can happen without your approval. So that means that the token would never ever be touched without your approval. You have to approve it first. I want to show you that. Let's get into the computer. Okay, so now let's go over some ground rules. One, we have six wallets that will be created just to hold tokens that your community has, okay? So these tokens right here are held just to make sure that you guys just don't dump on your community because there'll be 1.5 billion tokens that will be created. Okay, so the users will get 25 million of those tokens. That means you know, throughout the time, people that first came in, those guys who came in early will always get airdrop tokens. So that's, you know, you guys will get those tokens. The people who come in early get 25 million tokens airdrop to them throughout the time that they're there. Leaders. That means the person that created the token. Okay. So the person that creates the token gets 125 million tokens into their wallet throughout time. Okay. So it all depends on who you are. You know, if you've been a part of the community for a long time, we send you to all of them. But if we don't, you know, if you haven't been a part of the community that long, then they'll spend out through time. So you just basically make sure you keep building the community. Uh, then you have the mods token. So just make sure that the, the mods get paid and stuff like that. So you guys won't have to argue and stuff like that. They, you know, the community director don't have to come in and, you know, just resolve problems. The, um, uh, the, the blockchain will basically make sure everything is good. The contracts that we make um, for you guys, but make sure that everyone gets paid. Then you have the bank's token. So these tokens are just in case you want to create something, you know, um, you get the token, the price of your token goes up to, like I say, 10 cents. That means you have a lot of money uh, sitting inside of the bank token or the bank vault, basically. To basically do things that you want to do. For example, if you want to create a video game of your own, you can do that. If you want to start a business uh, that you are really, you know, like a dream business, you can do that. Uh, if people in your community want to uh, lend from the bank token, um, bank vault, you can actually lend them and they can pay you back. You, you'll be able to do that. Uh, you can set interest rates and all that stuff like that. Uh, but we won't, one thing that we won't do is give you what's inside of the bank vault uh, and allow you to dump on the people. So I was playing how this would basically protect your community and, and keep them at ease. Then you have the key holders. These are people who, all, who hold keys. That just be inside of your group and they hold keys. So people that hold keys inside of your group, these guys benefit your group a lot because it's basically like, you know, verified people. Um, these guys just have 25 million to sit in inside of a vault and they'll basically just go to them. So um, they get they get tokens for engaging inside of the community and they get tokens just for holding your uh, holding the key and being in your community. Then you have the hidden credits vault, which is 10 million of that. What that do is there's just basically people want to exchange hidden credits for your token. They are able to do that. So this is to be, you know, we hold 10 million tokens for that alone. Then you have 15 million for staking. Just in case you want to stake your token, you have 15 million tokens set aside for that only. Then 125 million of those tokens is for the platform. So the platform can basically just build itself, you know, so we can have 
the best platform to make sure you guys can keep doing this, keep upgrading uh, the platform, making everything easier for you guys to run your businesses onto Hiddenverse. So now that you know that these are the type of wallets that you have, these six wallets, you will be tied to all of them. So anytime something happens, when we will send tokens out to users, you will have to approve of the transaction. Anytime you send tokens to yourself, you have to approve the transaction. Anytime a mod's tokens, you have to approve the transaction. Anytime bank, um, the bank token happens, anytime, so you, you'll know if somebody's trying to take something out of the bank because you have to approve the transaction. Same thing for key holders, same thing for hidden credits. You have to approve the transaction and make sure that there is nothing slimy going on when it comes to just this platform or just for yourself. So your community would know that these guys have our best interests when it comes to the platform and the community leader, which is yourself. All right. So I'm going to show you right now of how that's possible. Okay. So now we're inside of the safe. Okay. Now what we're going to do is we just want to create a safe. We're going to do the uh, Polygon network because that's what we represent. We represent Polygon. Uh, we want to name it safe. Let's just say we're going to name it user users escrow. All right. Continue. And let's just say we got the token address of right here. And we want to put F. Want to add, um, go we'll grab another token, another address. Yeah. Use warrant. He was supposed to put his um, token address up here. See if you got it. Okay, so we'll put him here. All right? So now we will go back to the back to safe. Uh, right here. Back to safe. Put here. So we have Warren right here. Sorry, you guys. Community. So then we will add me as in, um, you know, so I'll make sure everything is going well. So this is be the, this is the company. So it don't have to be me, it'd be the, you know, the community director or something like that. But uh, then the person, the owner of the group, and then the company's token, right? So all these things would be right here. And then you hit, uh, so we could get rid of this quick. Let's just put this right here. And then that right there, and then you just create. Then we, we cover all that. You don't got to worry about it. We cover the cost right here. And then let it validate. We'll do everything. Put a smart contract. And boom. New save is created. Now your, your community just don't have to worry about, you know, anything just being fool and no foolishness. They don't have to worry about anything. So they, they know that it's stuff inside of a safe and it has to be multiple people to basically allow things to happen, whereas multiple eyes, you can even have your mods actually come look at this stuff like that. So you don't actually have to worry about a lot of the things that can possibly happen to you. So, you know, this stops from a lot of things that just happen inside of the crypto space. And we're here to make sure that we bring a better use case for people, for the new people that we're trying to introduce with our project, Mr. Braxis, and with our social media, uh, hidden verse where people are allowed to build their businesses on on our platform and just, just bring trust to the space you know our community is built off of trust and we believe that for any type of technology to work for people it has to be for people people have to be number one first so if you have any questions there ain't nothing to do you just somebody in the community